guys what is up today we're going to be looking at 4.3 jelly bean and we're just going to be looking at a quick overview through it so let's just get into it guys Google Play Games also comes pre-installed on 4.3 jelly bean so this is a very nice addition as uh, it gives you leaderboards and games you recommend to play and also syncing game activity so if you're like level 20 on Angry Birds and you finish it you can pick it up from your another Android phone and you'll be able to continue that game. So that's also very nice in Android 4.3. Moving on to the next feature. Another th thing in 4.3 is the always on Wi-Fi power state. This is to save Wi-Fi if it's always scanning, but it's in a new power state mode, so it'll save your Wi-Fi. Another cool thing in the Bluetooth department is there's low power Bluetooth Wi-Fi, so you can connect to stuff like smartwatches and Google Glass, for example, and it's the type of Bluetooth that these uh, devices use. So moving on to the next feature. Moving on to the next feature guys, the next feature is called multi-user profiles. This was introduced in 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, but it has been enhanced more in 4.3. So basically it's on tablets, so I cannot use it with my Nexus 4 right here, but uh, in Nexus 7s or Nexus 10s you have the um, option for profiles inside these users. So if you have children or other people you want to give your tablet to you can restrict what they can do and also you can restrict what they do inside the specific applications as well compared to the settings you can choose as well so that's also nice in 4.3 another new update in 4.3 android is something called trim tri and trim what trim does is basically reduce all the clutter inside your index of your Android device. So basically if you don't know when you install an application or, or music inside your device it creates a data point. This data point is always going to be there and Android indexes it in their own directory. But when you try to delete this application or file that you have that data point will still be there inside its directory. So even if you're deleting that file, you're actually not deleting it, your data point is still there. So these data points can like build up and it'll be a lot of a mess and it'll be clutter for the Android to basically clean up. So what Trim enables you to do is basically clean up these data points so they'll no longer be there and it'll, it'll improve stability and fluidness throughout your whole operating system so even if though if you have your old Nexus 7 lying around and if it's very slow grab the 4.3 update and it'll be uh, new and yeah guys if you didn't ex understand what I explained about trim uh, check out MKBHD's video I'll have that link down below and also where the deleted file goes that's Vsauce so I'll have that link down below as well. Thank you guys for watching this video please like, rate, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.